I don't know, I, I just thought it, it did really well, um, making everything kind of be wrapped up with a nice little bow, and I liked seeing Cheryl again. Um, and I liked them expanding on some of the universe more and expanding more on Ash's character and the stuff that he likes and the stuff that he did in his lifetime. Because before, we never knew that he liked, um, what was it, a gecko or a lizard? You mean we, his pet? Yeah, we never knew that he was into those. I mean, I know it's like a small detail, but I thought it was fun to like find out that when he was younger he had one in his room and then he had one in his little trailer and he like... I don't know, I thought it was fun. Yeah, they did a lot of character building stuff that I think was interesting and turned him from more than just a pulp action horror hero into... More of a dude? Yeah, more of a 3D character. Ew. Hot. Gross, I hate that. I do too. Actually, I want to see for that. Is there like another outfit that like maybe covers your tits? No? Okay, I, I cool. wish it did. Very gross. Yeah, I hate that her tits aren't covered. Me too. I like, uh... I'm a very conservative guy when it comes to women's clothing. How come Elagos gets outfits, but Henrietta doesn't get anything to cover her tits? Well, Elagos only gets, like, one. Yeah, but He just look, has the default. Yeah, but look, he, he can wear, like, something to cover his tits. Oh, you mean the other Elagos over there? Yeah. That's true. Uh, I thought this is... I, I never actually read into this. These elite unit, blah, 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 blah. I kind of wonder what these are supposed to be. Like, what is a demi Elagos compared to, like, the original? Well, I think he has so many powers that he's able to make copies of himself. You know? Release me, and together we will torment the living until they beg for death. Hot. What the heck? Would you bang? No. Really? You are a freak. What? Yeah, I think because he's a demon, he has a lot of powers, and he's able to make, you know, other parts of himself. That makes, that makes sense. sense. Yeah. I also think that they should have done an evil Ash version where it's, like, before his face got burned off. Mm -hmm. You know, because, do you remember for a little while in the movie, he just looked like Bruce Campbell? Yeah. And then he got disfigured. Yeah, then but he... I like his burnt face. It's scary. Oh, yeah, I like it, too. I just wish they had a second skin for him. Mm -hmm. A second but, skin. But he is really cool. I live again. I shall command every worm-infested son of a bitch that ever died in battle. It's funny. I like that he brings back dead people. That's why they're different. Same. He, he doesn't just possess the living. He possesses dead people. Yeah, I always thought it was really cool how they did that differently in ARMY. Although I do think a lot of it, too, was kind of to avoid some of the more gory stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was done really well. I thought it was done really well. I liked it a lot. And some of the character designs are just really fun, like these. I like uh, when... Uh, What's-his-face, the Nobi guy, mentioned that some of these skeletons had been dressed after death. Yeah, that was interesting to kind of show that they... um. That they didn't understand why they... Oh, wait, I forgot to add that skill point real quick. Yeah, they didn't understand why they came back. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we should be done for the night just because we finished all of the missions, which I am shocked is not a trophy. Like, well, maybe it will be at some point when there's the sixth one. Maybe. Oh, we should listen... Do you want to listen to the last Nobi tape? Yeah. And then we'll be done? Yeah. I now recite the summoning passage. <laughs> Nosferatos, Alo Memnon Kanda. No! Don't hurt me! Oh! How I've longed to feel your skin against mine! Then we have to stop! No, no! I was about to begin my main course! Not on my watch! She was my wife. That creature was not your wife, but as a deadite. Are you the savior? I'm Henry the Red, Duke of Shale, but I fought alongside the savior. We must cleave this vile thing to bits before it returns with renewed vigor, lad. I'm afraid there are more in the woods. Blows, blood, and death! Wait, I can't do it alone. I now recite the summoning passage. Huh, I wonder why Henry the Red would be there. I don't know. That's odd. 
Yeah, and also, it's kind of weird because didn't we see Henrietta in the first movie in the basement? Yeah. So. I really don't know if the game is supposed to be canon at all or not, though. I really can't tell. I can't tell either. Because parts of it seem like they are with, like, the time travel and stuff. Mm -hmm. And other parts seem like they're, like, their own timeline. Right, like, because obviously the missions are just recreations of a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. but, but I they thought... go differently. Yes, but I thought that maybe the Nobi tapes would be canon lore, and now I can't tell if they are or not. I don't know. I'd be interested to see if anyone said anything about that, since... Well, I would say this is an officially licensed product, but, like, so is everything else, I guess. All the comics and everything, and they're all their own timelines, so who knows. Mm -hmm. But... Ask Sam Raimi. <laughs> I think he's too busy with, uh, with... Doctor Strange and all the other stuff that he does is so huge. Oh, is he making another Doctor Strange movie, you think? I don't know, but he should. He should. I think he should. And he I should think... make every single movie in the Marvel Universe. That would be a bit much. <laughs> Some people really didn't like Doctor Strange, so I bet they'd hate that. Oh, that's sad. I can't believe they don't want Sam Raimi supremacy. That's okay, you know? Not everyone can have good taste like us. That's true. Five players are ready. We're playing Elgos, which is Puppeteer. I am level, I don't know, 24, 25 as Elgos now. Uh, I swear that we tried Demon out on the Let's Play. Jill says we didn't. I don't know which one of us is right. But here's the thing. Uh, we are going to scrap some of the matches we did early on. Not all of them, but some of them. Because otherwise it's all just super early play. And it's a little boring because we don't have any abilities you know, so it's just not that fun to watch. And here's my big problem with this game right now when we record this, which is like June 5th, 2022. So I don't know if this game will be around in three or five years, if it'll still be active. I don't know. If... Or three or five months. <laughs> you never know. Um, but what I'm trying to get at with this is that I've noticed that when it comes to this game, there is... Do you think I should go down there? Yeah. I've noticed that when it comes to this game, there is a massive skill gap in not just players, because there is that, but also in what your character is able to do based on their level. And so what I mean by that is a level one demon is just a worthless piece of shit. You may as well just put down your controller the whole map. It genuinely feels like unless you were playing early on, day one, and this is a big criticism I actually do have of the game, unless you're playing like early game, day one, week one, against low-level survivors, your first 10 levels as a demon just are not very good. Because all the survivors now that are playing are higher level. And likewise, if you are a level, I don't know, one survivor, and you're going up against a max level demon, that would suck too. And, and I understand that you want to have gameplay progression. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm not Saber Interactive, nor do I know how to perfectly balance a multiplayer game, but I do think it kind of sucks when you have basically this game and every new player is expected to eat losses just because of their their character's abilities. So like even if they've been watching streamers play the game and they're like, I, I know what to do, they're probably going to eat losses because like their demon can't do anything. You know, it's just stuff like that, and I think that that's frustrating. And we are going to make a video about some of this on the main channel at some point, and what it's we probably think... probably going to go up way before this. Well, I guess that's true. So I don't want you to have to, like, I guess reiterate all of it if you don't want to. No, um, I'm not going to all of it. I, I just, I do want to say, though, that I think that that's, at the time of recording, a small problem with the game where if you have that for early level players, here's what's going to happen new people are not going to want to play. Especially they're not going to want to play Demon. And then you have nobody to play Demon, and that's, like, the hugest thing about it. Like, if, if the Demon quits the game, the survivors win. Like, there's just Right, no the game. game's over. Yeah. They don't just put an AI on it. And if you play with an AI Demon, you get far less XP than you would normally. And it's also, to be honest, I, I don't know, it's fun, but I don't think it's as fun, like, uh, to play against AI Demon. Like, I think it's a little more fun to play the game, you know, online, because it's an online game. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still glad that there is that ability to play it that way. I agree. But I, I think that, you know, you want to make it so that people can enjoy the game both ways. I, I do think they should get more XP for offline right now. Mm -hmm. Right, where's this Ash going? 
A big part of Demon is just harassing the hell out of people. And, uh, Which is fun. Kind of learning where they're going to go and figuring it out. I don't know where the map pieces are, but just in case... Is he going down here? I don't well, know. Well, you know, this is a first since the survivors haven't found the first map piece within the first 30 seconds of the match starting. Since everybody and their mother has memorized exactly where they are no matter what location they go in. That is probably my biggest problem with uh, playing against survivors. It's just way too easy to get the map pieces now because, like... There's so many people who just know exactly where they are. Like, if they said to you the map piece is in Dead End, there'd be somebody who was like, yeah, it's right next to this window, right next to this, like, orange car underneath, like, Jay's mother with... What's weird is that supposedly it's still random. Like, I don't know the the full workings of how it works, but, like, I think the areas are just small enough that if you are this Ash, and let's see where we are, we're here by Fison Farm. Let's say I spawn at Fison Farm... Legitimately, it can be there. Yeah. Also, I'm probably not going to be the best the first match because I don't typically play this while talking. I'm usually very focused. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little hard to uh, know what I'm doing while talking and trying to be entertaining. Well, keep just trying to put down your portals and annoy these guys because you want to keep getting your level up. I'd say try to scare them when you can. Yeah, I'm just saying I'm not super used to playing while talking on this. I know, I, I was going to help, though, because I want us to try and see if we can win. Even though that's kind of a rare occurrence, it's a little bit easier to win with Elagos, I've noticed, than it is with all the other demons. Oh yeah, most certainly. it's, And, and that's kind of frustrating, too, is I've seen people say Warlord is great if you are... Um, if you're basically, like, using the flutist and stuff, which I believe... You mean Necromancer. Yeah, yeah sorry, Necromancer. Warlord's Henrietta, I forgot. Uh, Necromancer is great when you're using the flutist and other stuff, but I think a big issue I have is that it seems like Puppeteer is just clearly the absolute best, and the rest of them are not as good. I agree, yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, because I don't have my Necromancer quite as high of a level uh, as my Puppeteer. I guess they're kind of... Similar, similar in yeah. the mid twenties, but it kind of seems like you have more win, have gotten more wins with Elagos than you have with Evil Ash. Oh yeah, I absolutely have. So they found the first page, so it kind of seems like this group hasn't completely memorized all of the places where they at. So, you know, maybe we'll have a chance. Where are they at? Where are they at, yo? However, we never know because they are taking a while, so I kind of feel like they're all stocking up on, like, a million shemps that they're just going to down, like, in two seconds every time we try to hit them. And it's going to be the most annoying thing in the entire world. That happens a lot, too. Yeah, I've... I really enjoy playing Demon. I don't want to sound like a poor sport, but when I'm winning or when I'm doing stuff, super fun. But there's a bunch of matches where it feels like I'm not doing anything because... Your basic units are so garbage in this game um, un until you've, like, really leveled them up in the skill tree. Uh-huh. But at first, they're just really bad. They yeah, get killed within a couple of hits. You just kind of throw them out there to get killed, and that's it. Which sucks. I, I don't really feel like they should be that way. You should try to collect some more energy and scare some of these people. I have been trying to scare them. Energy is sadly a little too hard to come by sometimes. Uh, I know, it's a little to... too spread out, in my opinion. That's That was other things we were going to talk about, too, on our video. Um, is about some of the things that we kind of think need to be a bit better in terms of playing as the demon to make it a little bit more fun. Yeah, like, for example, this Ash is already trying to push that... Uh, already trying to push to that objective. He already found that map. Mm -hmm. So I kind of lured him away for a second, but all that's going to do is buy me a second, really, here. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of a douchey thing to do. Well, yeah, but the whole game is uh, revolves around douchey things to do. So, yeah, he already got that map. I like, though, there's this one thing that we do when we possess people when the storm is closing in and we walk them into the storm. I do do that a lot. That is really funny. I'm going to like go around and get some energy and stuff because I can't really do anything without it. Which is another thing that kind of frustrates me is early match energy seems really spread out. I know they're all they're like, oh, well, this guy is a god on Twitch at playing Demon. Yeah, cool, good for him. But my point is that for normal people, you know, like, normal 9 to 5 average people who like playing video games isn't their job and stuff, it's genuinely really hard to get started 
uh, as like low level demon. And it can be frustrating and make you not want to play anymore. Because everybody and their mother seems like they want to play just Survivor. And that's, I think that's kind of a problem. Um, because you do need people to play demon. Yep, you do. Um, I really like this person's name, Woohoo My Sims. <laughs> that's funny. That's pretty much the Sims version of having sex. Oh, really? Yeah, they woohoo to have sex. Oh, got it. I, I didn't understand the reference, really. Yeah, it's really funny. I'm just kind of trying to be a nuisance to him. Good. Because getting your threat level up largely involves just trolling players. Yeah, and it's important to get it to at least 10 before they start going for either the dagger or the pages. Because if you don't, then you just can't unlock the boss and you're pretty much just fucked. Because all you can do then is put down your portals, which are the only way to bring in damage against anybody without the boss. You um, can summon, but... Or I'm sorry, summon a uh, possess. Yeah, that's I'm about it. Um, you can't do it very often. It takes a lot of energy. And, like, I guess the problem is the expectation to, like, to win is to either kill everyone or take down the book. And taking down the book is pretty much fucking impossible. Yeah, so... the book has way too much health. I've done that once. And... I actually kind of think it should have been a trophy because of how hard it was. Yeah, the only reason you were able to do it once is because I'm pretty sure most people disconnected and then the other two ran away. Yeah, they were trying to... I think they were trying to draw the time out. Yeah. And prevent me from being able to beat them that way, but then I just went after the book and destroyed it. Yeah. And then Henry came back and tried to stop me, but he couldn't mm. at that point. Mm. Yeah, so that was like kind of a. Uh, it, it was kind of one of those lucky matches where you get people who are a little bit brain dead. And that's kind of what you have to hope for with a lot of these matches is people who are a little bit brain dead and don't know how to play the game. Yeah, and to be fair, the, I don't think there's anything wrong with this team, like in terms of they don't seem stupid at all. It's just. Um, I, I think that when you start playing against teams that are communicating. Yeah, like you, all on their headsets together and stuff. Yeah, you lost. Yeah. Like, just genuinely, most of the time you've lost. And also, when it's like this, where I'm threat level 9, this could go either way, but it kind of also feels like I lost because they already got all three map pieces. Yeah. Uh, maybe I didn't, but it's just kind of a sucky reality of this game that if you are, like, under level 10 when they start getting to this point... Well, you're at level 10 now. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just kind of a frustrating thing where you just hit a point where you're like, well, I'm probably going to lose. I think that they're going to go for the pages first because they're closer. And I think you need to fill up your energy and go there and riddle the place with traps. Just completely annihilate it. I mostly do too, but I'd also like to just kind of bother them a little bit on their way too. Mm -hmm. I really like watching you play this. It's fun. It's fun to play. It's just one of those things where it sucks that if your demon is... I, I really do think under level 20 and you're playing against even mid-level survivors, I, I just don't know what the point is at that point. But I'm sure, you know, there's that one guy on Twitch who can do it. That's always the answer. Is like, well, why don't you watch a, one of the asymmetrical... I don't even know if you call them that. Like, gaming channels that's, like, really good at Dead by Daylight and stuff. It's like, yeah... But you want your game to be accessible to the point where, like, just general players could pop in and still have a shot. Like, I'm not saying you should be a god at all, but if you're a level one demon and you're trying the game out the first time and you and you know what to do, you know, you've, you've watched people play before, you know what the game is, I still think even if you're playing against max level survivors, you should have a chance to win. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not a high chance, like, their stuff should help them. But it kind of seems like their stuff turns them into, like, a god. Yeah, and that's, instead of making it fair. And yeah, and to me, that's kind of where I'm like, well, this seems a little much, you know, for... Um, I don't know, it just seems like a little much, like, Although, the balancing. I'm really sick of, like, the get good crap. I kind of feel like if you say that, you should, like, actually go skydiving and maybe don't bring your parachute. <laughs> I mean, the thing the thing is, it's, it's a weird flex because, like, I love video games. They're a big part of my life, but I don't have any uh, personal, I don't know what I'd say, like, gratification or, like, I, I don't feel... Like, it's like the ninja thing where, like, ninja had that whole 
like tantrum where he was talking about how it's not just a game. It's this. It's like no. It's it's also ninja. it's a game, dude. Hey like, yo, it's ninja. It's meant to be fun. Yeah, um, dude. Let's go. That's soups. Oh, sorry. Uh, it, you know, it's it's also meant to be a fun time. <laughs> Let's go. We got a portal in the place. Is, are they hey. just? I guess they're hanging out at Radio Tower a little bit. Uh, let's go bug them, because I don't want them to be, like, getting more amulets and shemps, because they already have, like, a million of them. I will go bug them, but I was doing what you told me to. I know. I was okay. bugging that place. It kind of seems like they are, like, buffing each other by, like, getting on top of one of e another and, like, okay, enjoying well, themselves. Okay, li well, literally, Jill, they're just playing the game. Yeah, exactly. They're playing. I don't know. I don't have a really a problem with survivors um like it's it's how you play the game i really do have a problem though with uh just how ridiculously broken certain things are like certain combinations like cheryl being able to put down a first aid kit and heal the entire team within three i mean six seconds like it literally heals them almost to full health in like six it seconds. does do too much and that's that's kind of my big issue is Certain things seem to do way too much, and other things don't seem to do anything. Mm -hmm. And also, like, early demon in the match, like, you just don't have energy, so you can't do jack shit. Which I, seems boring and silly. I still haven't been able to tell what, like, College Ash's power even does. Yeah, we should probably read it, but I don't I don't have them all memorized either. Well, it just kind of seems like it doesn't do much anything useful if we can't even tell. You know? Well, I... Yeah, I, I don't know, because I wouldn't be able to tell what Amanda's is without playing her, but it's unlimited ammo for a few seconds. That's pretty cool. Which is actually a very good power, even if it doesn't sound like it would be that good, because it's only a, a handful of seconds. You can do a lot with her. Especially if you have an automatic rifle. Yeah. That you can just unload. I feel like this is like a weird Let's Play part from us. What? We normally don't just talk about the game, you know? Well, I w I'm really interested in the demon part especially because I, I find it very fun and also I want you to be able to focus and try to actually win this because I feel like everybody's going to be like, well, you didn't try hard enough. No wonder you lose every game. Ugh. I don't lose every game. I've won a quite a few games. I know, but I'm just pretending like to be somebody who's in the comments who like doesn't ever read a book and or Well, most grass. of the people in our comments are very nice. That's true. I'm just being right. mean. <laughs> Okay, stay in the circle. Stay in it. Yep. I'm going to... Whoa, jeez. Try and scare them. Pull okay, them. well, they're trying to use this car to cheese the game. Pull their pants down. What? What? They're trying to use the car to cheese the units, so let's just do that. I Get like a cheese. scare in. Let's call in the boss, and then we immediately will do this stun move, which is kind of broken. I am, Jill. I like that stun move, though, because it's kind of like, you know, when you play as Evil Ash, as soon as you turn into the boss, everyone just stun locks you for a million, like, seconds. Well, when you play as Elagos, you can do the same thing back to them. That's true. And even if they do heal, I'm getting them to waste their healing. That's kind of the goal a lot of times is, I think, what we should do when we're trying to get the dagger on the pages, or, I mean, when they are, is, like mess with them enough to make them waste all their healing so when they get to the dark ones, they just have nothing. I agree. Yeah, just kind of screw with them the best you can at this point. And if you're lucky, you can walk them into the storm. Yeah, later on. Yeah, because, like, after they get both of the, the dagger and the lost pages, the storm starts closing in, and if they stay over there long enough and you're able to get back there and possess them, it's pretty easy to walk them into the storm because they're right next to it. That's true. But if the storm's far away, then, like, there's not really a chance, because you can't possess them long enough. One of the best abilities I have right now is that if I stay in the circle, it takes longer for them to do the objective. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Really nice. It used to take them way too quickly to do it. Yeah, and also my explosions are a little bit more long-range. Mm-hmm. I've seen people say that the um, power possession is broken, but I, I guess I haven't really noticed that. I haven't noticed it either, especially when you're a lower level, it doesn't seem like it buffs them very much at all. Plus, you still get killed by them if they're all whacking you, even when you power possess. 
because like a lot of times when all these people stay together as soon as you turn into a boss or as soon as you possess someone or something they all just take their weapons and go bang 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 right on your head and you may as well just kiss your possession time goodbye the thing that always weirds me out is there's always a survivor right on my ass when I switch to one. So, like, when I possess a survivor, there is always one right on top of me, um, hitting me from behind. Mm -hmm. And it, it's always kind of weird because it seems like they group up to the point where I'm like, how did you even um, get on me this quickly? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Fire tower is where they're at uh, right now. Now they're going to exercise you a thousand miles away from everything. See? Yeah, so that's the thing, too, is when you get exercised, um, it's like a complete toss-up. Sometimes you're further from the objective than they are, and sometimes you're way closer to it. Um, I don't know. I, I get that it's RNG stuff. That's kind of something I've been reading that a lot of people have a problem with, though. It's like the RNG... Real nice guys? Um, yes. That's the N-word is nice. Do you not know what RNG is? No. Oh, we've talked about this several times. I forgot what it stands for. It's like randomly number generated oh, or random number yes. generated. Oh, yes, okay, I remember now, sorry. That kind of stuff. I yeah, so forget. like, look at this. They already beat me basically to this objective. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll have started it up by the time I even get there, mm -hmm. which to me is ridiculous because then I'm flying across the whole map just to try and lay a trap down so that I don't get destroyed immediately at the next objective. There was a one time when you were playing as Evil Ash, like, around, like, level one or two, um, and they got to, I think, like, the dagger, and by the time you got over to the dagger, the thing was already halfway done. That's true. Because they set you just so far away. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of frustrating stuff with this for me. I'd say next point you want to put into possession, since we do that a lot. I will. And I'm going to do this real quick. Look at my Emma Gussie! Let's my start with that. Spread your leggies. And I always go with that, too. Come on. Scale of 1 to 10, how hot do you think Ella Goss is? 10, he's naked. That's true, he's asking for it. Okay. I personally would call him a 12. One of my biggest things that I find annoying is, first off, people flash their flashlights 50 times to try and brag during the match, which is weird to me. They also do a ton of damage to the boss for some reason. They do, yeah. They do too much damage to the boss. Because, mm -hmm. like, my boss is maxed, by the way. That's how quick he died. Mm -hmm. um, I guess, to me, I find that a little busted. Yeah. I also find the flashlight thing to just be annoying and douchey. Can I be honest with you here? I kind of feel like when you enter a lobby like this and everyone's on the same console, you might as well just disconnect and not play. Thank you for your honesty. Well, no, I just... <laughs> like, do you not agree? No, I agree, because it kind of seems like they're all just going to be talking together, right? Yeah, at 24-7. Yeah. Like, never stopping talking. They're like, all right, I'm done butt-fucking my teammate now. Come on, uh, you know, he's, he's right here. Anyway, Henry the Red's here. He's very red and Henry-like. So, like, I'm gonna lose this match because they're just too high of a level now. Oh, wait, do you think that they got a bunch of, like, pink F? Yeah. What the heck? And, like, just watch them destroy me as the boss instantly. Well, we're gonna keep trying. The problem, the problem is if we, like, get all losses, it's not good content. No, I don't... I, well... It's not, and you know it. I think you should still try to win. I think there is going to be one of these matches where you do win, because you've done it before when we haven't been um, Let's Playing. I know you have it in you. Well, I know I do. It's just it's not That guy's down. That. Don't let him be revived. I can't do anything. <laughs> like, look. I've already lost the objective. 